time for another Dice Tower review with the Charters family. Hi, my name is Rich Charters. And I'm Jenny Charters. And today we're going to talk about a little game called... Jaipur. Jaipur, or as my oldest daughter named it, Jai Ho. I think she was watching a Bollywood film and somehow came up with the name Jai Ho. At any rate, this is a two-player game. It takes 30 minutes to play. It's very, actually quicker than 30 minutes, I think. Maybe 30 if you include setup. I was just going to read the introduction and aim of the game from the rules here. It says, Jaipur, you are hoping to become the Mar Mar Maharaja's personal trader by being richer than your opponent at the end of each week. To do so, collect and exchange good cards at the market, then sell them for rupees on the back of the tokens. If you manage to put together a really good deal, three or more cards, you receive a bonus token. As for the camels, they're mainly used in exchanges when you want to take multiple goods at the market. At the end of each round, uh, the richer trader receives a seal of excellence. The first player to collect two of these wins the game. So that's kind of an introduction. Why don't we, Jen, explain a little bit of the rules here that we wrote out beforehand, and then we'll play a quick game. So basically how it works is, on your setup, there will be a market here. There's always three camels at the start of the game. And then you put out two more random cards. So that's your market. It'll always be five cards. And what you do on your turn is it's very simple. You have just two choices. You either take cards from the marketplace or you sell cards. That's all you do. Now, how do you take cards? There's a couple of options. You can take several cards at one time. For instance, if I wanted to collect both cloth and leather, I could do that. I would just snag these cards and take them. Um, if I wanted to take the camels, I could do that as well. But to take several goods, I need to replace them from my hand. So we'll, we will each have a hand of five cards. And as I'm looking at my hand here, if I take a few cards from the market, I have to replace them with the same number of cards or camels or some combination. I can take just one good. So if there was one valuable good here I wanted to take, I could just take that and then it gets uh, replaced from the deck, not from my hand. So if I like all the cards in my hand, but I really want a card in the market, I can get it without sacrificing anything from my hand. The other thing um, that you can do is take all the camels. Now you can never just take one camel unless that's all there is. You have to take all of them. And when you take all the camels, again, you replace from the deck. So the rule of thumb is if you take all the camels or just one card, you replace it from the deck. Otherwise, you have to replace it from your hand or from the herd of camels in front of you. Okay, and the other thing is there's a max of seven cards in your hand. So if you accumulate a lot of camels or a lot of goods at the end of your turn, you have to discard down to seven. Now, that's the one thing. You can take cards into your hand. The other thing you do is you sell as many cards as you want, but they all have to be the same type. So I could sell, for instance, three leather or three spices or one cloth or if possible, for silver, etc., etc. You sell these commodities and they match it. You see here is a, I don't know if you, can you see that, Jen? This is a ruby. Uh, this is a cloth. There's a camel. Let's see what else is in there. Looks like that's all I have. Uh, but you can see there's cards. That's a leather card. There's cards to match each of the goods tokens. So based on the cards you get, um, you sell those. So you, you sell multiple ones at the same time. And it's good to sell early because as you'll notice here, the first leather is worth four, the last leather is worth one. The first cloth is worth five, the last cloth is worth one. The first gold is worth six, the last gold is worth five. So gold retains its value better, but some of these it encourages you to be first to the market so that you can get the best price. And of course you're trying to get as much money as you possible by selling. The other thing is if you sell three, four, or five uh, tokens, there's a bonus for that. So if I sell five cards at a time, and that's not easy to do because you'll have cards in your hand, uh, you'll be, you want to hold on to them and get, collect a bigger set, but there's pressure to discard them too for various reasons that we'll see. But if, if you sell five at a time, you see there's little five, uh, can you see that, Jen? There's five little cards on this. It's bonus points. That's worth 10, that's worth 9, that's worth 8, so these are worth a lot. If you sell just three cards at a time, which is obviously a much easier task, the bonuses are much smaller. 2, 1, 3, etc. 
So uh, that's kind of how the bonuses work. So you're encouraged to sell early to get the higher um, values, but you're also encouraged to sell late because the bigger bonus you have, the more bonus points you get. So that's kind of the trade-off. Um, okay, the only, the only other rule is when you're selling uh, these most valuable goods, the silver, the gold, or the diamonds, you in fact have to sell a minimum of two. You cannot just sell one of those. That's just a rule of the game. Then we'll play this game until one of two things happens. Either our stack of cards runs out, and if the deck is gone, the round is over, or three of the six commodity tiles are all gone. So if we sold out these three, uh, then the round would end immediately. And once the round ends, we count up our uh, victory points or the points money from that round and whoever won gets the uh, seal of excellence and that's two out of three of these wins the game so it's best out of three um, I think that's all except that at the end of the round also you see who has the most camels and whoever has the most gets a bonus of five points for having the most camels and uh, that's about it Jen shall we uh, try to play a game here yeah Okay, let's go ahead. So we have the market out. Um, I'll go ahead and dart, deal our, our hands. Five each. And uh, you want to go first? Yeah. All right. Okie doke. The other thing is, if you have camels, you just lay them in front of you. It's your herd. They're not part of your hand. Um, okay. So, I am going to take the camels. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, I think just one of those. What the heck? Whoa, four leathers out there. Okie doke. I am going to take the sand. The spice, you mean? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sell three uh, pieces of cloth. So I'll discard those. And then I take these three bonus tokens of cloth and they go into my uh, stash. So that's 11 points. All right, your turn, Jen. I'm also going to sell three uh, uh, cloth. cloth. And those are only worth five, right? Now I'm going to, I guess, take all camels. I'm going to take the silver. Okay, now look at that. What, okay, I guess I'll go for it. I'll take three of those leathers and replace, no, I'll take four actually, and replace oh. it with camels and that. Okay. okay. Now I am going to take uh, the spice. Okay. Yikes. Against my better judgment, I'm going to take the uh, leather. I'm going to take the silver. I knew you would. Oh no. Um, I'm going to take the gold. My turn, I'm going to take the camp. Smart. Now see, when I have a big hand, it's a good strategy for her to take the camels and dump a lot of cards here because I can't really grab those cards easily. Oh no. That is not good for me. But you know what? I'm going to do this anyway. I'm going to sell five pieces of leather. So that's one, two, three, four, five, which is okay. And then it's also a bonus for five, which hopefully is better. All right. Okay, I'm going to take these two silver and replace them with two spices. That's probably what I should have done is grab those, right? I'm going to have to take 
Yikes. I'm gonna take a spice. Um. There's our first ruby we've okay. seen. Okay, I'm gonna take gold. I'm going to sell these four silvers. Wow. Here's your bonus of four. Now that was 20 points plus a pretty sizable bonus. Oh wait, bonus. did we get these three? Did we get a bonus for the threes? Oh, yeah, you sold three. Let's see, I did uh, three and... Okay. Oh, you're right, I didn't get a bonus for my three either. Good call. Okay, I'm gonna sell two gold. And so that's two gold. Okay, my turn. Mm-hmm. I want to sell three rubies. Yikes, another three bonus. Nice job. I'm gonna pick up one. I'm going to pick up a spice. I'll take a diamond. Um, I'll pick up both of these. Okay, I guess I'll take the camels. That's dangerous, gives you a good chance of getting something good, but life's okay. full of risk. I will take the, yeah, these two. I'm gonna replace them with two camels. Okay. And you have a lot of cards. I'm going to take the camels again. Um. Okay, I'm going to take these two again. Oops. Oh wait, I got it. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to take the camels one more. Wait, you can't have more than seven cards. Wait. Yeah, I know. You I'm... only have seven? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the camels one more time. Okay, my turn. I'm going to sell the um, sandbags. I mean, the spices, sorry. Okay, that's a bonus of three for selling three at a time. I'm going to pick up one, two, three commodities and replace them with camels. One, two, three. I'm going to sell my two golds. Yikes. And I'm going to sell four spice. One, two, three, four. And you notice that's a bonus of four. One commodity is completely sold out, so if two more sell out, this game is over. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to take the camels. Oh, and there's the little panda camel, if you can see that. There's only one. Oh yeah, let me hold it up, see if we can, I don't know if they'll be able to see it. That's an Easter egg, but that's one bonus point is how we play it, huh? Yeah. So Jim gets a bonus point in this game because she saw it first. Wow, that's nice. Now, unfortunately, these is only one left. I'm going to take two cards, and I'm gonna replace it with two camels. Your turn. I'll take, um, yeah, I'll just take this This game one. isn't going to last much longer, Jen. I'm going to sell two diamonds. Hmm. So if one more commodity sells out, this game is over. Your turn. Oh, I'm going to sell these two. Um, yeah. You knew this game was going to end, huh? Yeah. And I'm going to sell two gold. And although there's only one here, I sell it for one. And that is the end of the game. How many camels do you have left over? Three. I have four, so that means five bonus points there. And so now all we do is we count the total amount of points. And the way you do that is you just turn this over, and the points are written big on the other side, so you just count them up. So let's do that quickly. Put them in stacks of 10 like we always do, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So as we're doing this, tell me what you your thoughts about this game, Jen. Um, this game is fun. I like how it's a two-player game and how it's a trading. Well, like 
trying to collect goods and like trying to be better than the other player because I'm a competitive player, so I enjoy games like this. Yeah, it's straight up competition. And there's a little bit of blocking involved, right? You mm -hmm. can deny people certain things. You can grab uh, certain things before they get a chance to grab them, things like that. So that makes it fun. How many points did you I get? Got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 79. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 6, 7, 8. 78, and you got 79? Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, you won. All right, so that's that's kind of how the game of Jaipur works. Jen, if you had to give this game a rating, what would you give it? Um, I'd probably give it out of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. I'd probably give it probably a 9. I, I don't know. I really like this game, especially for two-player games since there's not a lot of that great two-player games that I like. This one's really fun now. Okay. And I think I'd rate it probably an 8 or maybe a 9 too. I think it's one of the best two-player games and it's a game that my wife will play with me, right? One of the few, yeah. occasionally, not too often, but sometimes. And it's a game that we always have fun playing. It's quick, it's competitive, uh, and uh, it makes it fun. Oh, and by the way, you got one extra point for the, the Easter egg. Oh yeah, so 80 points. 80 points, you beat me by more than you thought. Okay, so that is the game Jaipur. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah.